What is going on guys, it's Murray Dwarf here. Welcome back to another video on the 7.55 jailbreak that everybody is eagerly awaiting. So I've done a few videos on this already. I did an initial video kind of explaining that the Flow, a well-known exploit dev, has gone ahead and reported a bug to Sony that could be exploited to get us a full jailbreak on 7.51 or possibly 7.55. And uh, this was then disclosed so I believe um, the flow requested disclosure. Sony only disclosed it in a limited capacity, meaning that the source code for the actual exploit was not published, which essentially means that all exploit devs have to work on is that there's a vulnerability in a certain function that can lead to a jailbreak, but they have to basically figure out how to exploit that vulnerability themselves from scratch. Unlike the previous exploit for 6.72 and 7.02, where it was fully disclosed and exploit devs had the source code on how the exploit was done and therefore they were able to implement it much faster. That's why things are taking a lot longer this time. So then I made a second video which was a basic update on this whole situation, essentially explaining that there were a couple of exploit devs working on the jailbreak. So you had of course Spectre who made the 4.05 exploit and the 4.55 exploit working on this with um, Teamstar, T-I-H-M star, who were working on this on live streams on the Day Zero Sec Twitch channel. So every week they were doing about a four to five hour live stream, trying to figure out how to jailbreak the PS4 using this new vulnerability reported by the flow. And then on top of that, you also had Slayer's Gorvi, who implemented a kernel exploit using the flow's vulnerability on FreeBSD9 which he was running in a virtual machine. A lot of exploit devs choose to build the exploit first in a virtual machine running FreeBSD, which is like the base level operating system that the PS4 runs off. So they essentially, you know, implement the exploit on that first just to make sure it works. And then they can try and port it to other devices that also run FreeBSD like the PS4. But obviously it's not as simple as just porting it directly from one device to the other because uh, of course, Sony changed their implementation of FreeBSD. They add their own security. It has to be done through a WebKit exploit. So the code has to be written in JavaScript to be executed via the web browser. And the WebKit has its own quirks. So it's not quite as simple as just porting it from FreeBSD in a running in a virtual machine to, P to the PS4. But that's essentially what um, Tim Starr and Spectre have kind of been trying to do. Initially in their live streams, they were trying to port the POC, the kernel exploit from Slayer's Gorvi, the one he posted here a month ago, and they were trying to port that to the PS4. Recently though, Spectre's kind of split off to try some other method that if he gets it working could lead to future exploits and uh, potentially a more stable exploit as well. Uh, whereas Timstar is still working, I believe, on implementing Slayer's Gorvi's exploit for FreeBSD and tried to implement that on the PS4. So that's where we were over the past um, couple of updates I've done on this uh, so far. So what has changed? Why make this video now? Because not much has really changed for the past few weeks until now. A, a few days ago, there has been some new developments or one big new development that could increase the chance of getting a jailbreak very soon. And that is that the Flow himself posted a hint for the exploit devs on helping them to try and get the jailbreak sooner. So all he said was leverage this with another bug, leverage this with another bug. And he posts to um, something on GitHub and it's essentially a function in FreeBSD. And he and this uh, kind of post basically explains that you can kind of use this function in a different way than what it's normally intended for to do something that's essentially going to make it easier to implement a jailbreak on the PS4. Now, what's interesting about this is a lot of people thought this was like some brand new vulnerability. It's not. It's This was posted on 5th of February 2018. So it's actually quite old, but I guess a lot of people just, you know, didn't know about it. And it's just kind of resurfaced now that the flow has pointed it out. But this is something that a lot of people didn't really know existed, even though it was posted back in 2018. And the idea behind this is that we can hopefully through this create some kind of exploit that's going to be a lot easier to implement on the PS4. Now, one of the things is that a lot of people were worried that you have to have some kind of vulnerability in this function in order to make it do what it needs to do in order to help improve the chances of getting a jailbreak on the PS4. However, that's not exactly true. And a lot of people were worrying about that because 
If this was posted in 2018, which it was, then Sony could have patched any vulnerability in this function by now, and then it's not going to work on the PS4. So why would the flow even point this out? Well, the thing is that it doesn't actually have to be vulnerable. This function doesn't have to be vulnerable in any kind of way. They can just use it in a slightly different way than it's intended. Uh, even if there's no vulnerability in the function, it can still be used in this other way uh, to, to aid in the creation of the 7.55 jailbreak, essentially. So because of that, uh, that's why I guess the flow pointed it out. Now, Slayer's Gorvi has already taken this new information and has created another kernel exploit using this uh, new hint that the flow reported. So as you can see here on Twitter, uh, Slayer's Gorvi basically said that uh, another free BSD POC he's created, now utilizing the flow's hint, does not do any zone drains, so should be more portable. And fun fact, it seems that the function tweeted by the flow does not need to be buggy. A patched one also will also do its job. So again, essentially saying, doesn't matter if the function is not vulnerable to anything, it can still be used in this way to help with this um, this exploit. So now that he's done that, what we're all waiting for now is we're waiting for Spectre and Timstar to do another live stream on the Day Zero Sec Twitch channel to have a look at this new bug because what Slayer's Gorvi said, he said it should make it more portable. Uh, by portable, I assume he means being able to port it to other devices that are running FreeBSD, like the PS4. So that was one of the big issues, one of the things that people were stuck on for a long time, uh, or Spectre and Timstar were um, struggling with, was porting the initial exploit that he posted a month ago, because just due to the nature of how the exploit works, it's very difficult to implement and very difficult to port to the PS4. Uh, whereas this new one that he's created now, using this new um, tip that they got from the flow, this function, then he seems to suggest that this is going to be a lot easier to port to the PS4 than his previous one. So that's essentially it. That's the that's the, all the new information we really have at this point, is that this new hint that the flow has put out there has led to Slayer's Gorvi creating a, a new exploit for FreeBSD, which should be easier to port to the PS4. And we're just waiting to see if that turns out to be the case when uh, Spectre and Timstar do another live stream on the Day Zero Sec Twitch channel. So that's where we are right now. Now Spectre has already tweeted about this. He says that uh, he still wants to see if his zone reclaim strategy is possible on the PS4 for potential future exploits if nothing else. So that was the strategy that uh, Spectre was kind of coming at it with and you know Timstar was I believe just trying to implement um, Slayer's Gorvi's exploit and trying to port that to the PS4. So they were both coming at it at two different angles during the live stream, uh, testing each other's code. So that way they had a better chance of getting it working. So Spectre still wants to keep doing his method because if it works, it might lead to future exploits as well. Um, but hopefully maybe Timstar will shift over to trying to implement Slayer's Gorvi's new exploit that implements this new, bu this new hint from um, the flow, which should ultimately make it easier to port over to the PS4. So that's what we're all kind of waiting on right now to see what happens with this new information so yeah that's basically it so anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful just a quick update there on this whole um, exploit that is being worked on so keep your fingers crossed hopefully we will see a 7.55 or 7.51 jailbreak coming fairly soon and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video